What's up guys, TechRack here and welcome to our first video in 2021. Now before I start anything else, I want to say a big shout out to my subscribers. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching my content. Thank you for liking my content. And I want to say a happy new year to you guys. May this year be a prosperous one. So there's been a couple of updates in GeForce Now that are going to help us reduce lag and latency even playing games in GeForce Now. And in this video, I'm going to show you just how to do that. So stay tuned and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like these. Alright guys, now before we all move on to how to fix latency in Lex, there is actually a new app, okay, that helps you reduce your waiting time on GeForce Now. Um, previously, in my previous video, I was using um, a hotspot shield to do that, but I noticed most of you are getting, um, most of you are having challenges with it because uh, it was a paid um, VPN. But one of my subscribers um, recommended this VPN, that is a touch VPN, and it's free, guys. And I've tested it, I've tried it, and it works. So, um, all you have to do is head over to your um, Microsoft Store. So you head over to your Microsoft Store and then I'm all wait for it to load. All right, and then in the search input, you input um, uh, touch VPN. Yeah. Touch VPN, hit on search. Now it's going to bring up um, the touch VPN and this is it. Okay, so it's labeled touch VPN and it has this finger button, finger icon on it. So all you have to do is um and it's totally free guys. Just that it has a limited amount of countries you can connect to, but I've tried it and it works perfectly fine. So here you can select um Japan, Germany, Norway, Russia, Hong Kong, Japan, Denmark, France, Ukraine. Brazil, Sweden, Singapore. So it gives you a wide range of um, um, countries, but not as wide as um, Hotspot Shield would give you. But I think for GeForce now, it's okay. So I'm gonna connect to um, the United Kingdom. Nope, the United Kingdom. And then hit connect. So it's very fast in connecting as well. And it should connect in just about a few minutes. So connected. All right, so... um. If you haven't seen my video on how to um, reduce waiting time on GeForce Now, I'm going to link it somewhere around here so you can go see that. So just to prove to you guys that this um, VPN works with um, what I've been doing previously, I'm going to open a game and wait for it to load before um, <coughs> I continue, guys. Now. I want to elaborate a bit more on this because most of you guys have been saying it doesn't work but it really works now what it does is that a changing your location to um, a country actually shifts or moves your time to that country's time and then the last time I talked about making sure that that country um, is, is, is has its time set to maybe midnight now what this does is obviously we all sleep during the night we all sleep at midnight so if it's day in my country but i switch to no recommended continue anyway if it's day in my country but i switch to your server i'm probably going to get a free server to play on all right so that's how it works so you see it came game is ahead of you three and then quickly switched to a um, loading screen so I had no waiting time as well. And then this has been the most case for most of the times I play on GeForce now. I've been playing on GeForce now for some time now, over two months, and I'm always getting a no waiting time. So I'm on a free account. So as you can see, the game is starting up and I had no waiting time at all. No waiting time at all. And this has been the most case for every time um, um, I play on GeForce now. Yep, so as you can see, I'm on a free account. I don't have found this. I don't have the founders edition. I'm on a free account and I had no waiting time at all. So this really works and then it, re it really, really works. Okay, that's all I can see. And as you can see, this is a fake video. Today's date. <coughs> Today's date is 
today's date this isn't a fake video this is friday the 8th of january 2021 so this isn't a fake date this sorry this isn't a fake video it works perfectly fine so moving on to our next part of the video i'll be showing i'm sharing with you guys how to reduce some um, lag and latency on GeForce now now there are some new features in the app that are actually going to help you do this so first of all i want you to open the app and then you head over to um the settings <coughs> Yes, you head over to your settings and then um all right so you head over to your settings and then you're going to head over to um server location right here so if you are using the vpn guys this is really really um important if you are using a vpn you just have to set your server location to auto because it's going to pick whatever your vpn information your vpn gives it and it's going to set your um your server to that particular location but if you aren't going to be using um the vpn then you have to um do a little bit of research and then look for the best server or the the the, the closest server to you all right now the closest server might not be the best server i've talked about this in my previous videos it might not be the best server so you, you should keep experimenting on some of the servers so there's um the US, the US West 2, there's a US Northeast, there's a US um, Central. So you have to be experimenting on these um, options to see which one works best for you. But in my opinion, I think setting to auto and using the VPN as your, um, your location seeker or using the VPN to give location to the GeForce Nano app would be the best. Now, after that, um, you should have your your streaming quality set to competitive all right now when it's competitive it's going to force your network to um, provide the best results that um, you can ever get okay but for today if you are facing lag and latency i also recommend you choosing custom all right so you choose custom and you're gonna reduce your your resolution to um um where is it where is it to 1024 by 768 now this is also going to help you um, run your game at a smoother rate and then i want you to turn off vsync and then also check adjust for um poor networks conditions so this should be on and then 1024 times 78 that is 4 by 3 your resolution should be this now max bitrate shouldn't be at auto it should be at 50 megabits per second now this is going to help you run your game your game at a smoother rate so to help you run your game at a faster rate and it's going to reduce um lag and latencies when you're running your game on jfos now now when you're done with this i'll um recommend you to um go back to your games and then test any game test out a game to see if your problem was fixed if not then you move on to um this next step i'll be showing you guys so the next for the next step oh <coughs> we're going to head over to um nvidia's um the geforce now file location so what you want to do is um left click on the app or the icon and then uh, select open file location so once you are here you want to search for um geforce now.json all right geforce now.json and if it's um unreadable we have to do is um right click on that uh, left click on that sorry so you left click on that and then you head over to properties and then you make sure read only is turned off it's not ticked so if it's ticked you untick it and then hit apply and then okay now after that you want to left click on that and then um sorry you want to right click on that and then left click on that and then hit edit or go to edit now once you are in here it's going to open up a notepad file for you so you also want to make sure that your gfn accelerator is set to either G dx11 or dx10 or dx9 
So you choose whichever one works for you. And then your GPU acceleration should be as true. And your GFN async render should be also as true. And then um, your um, you scroll down here and then your HIDPI should also be true. And then your um, IOHID should configurable should also be false. And then you set um, your HIDPI also to true. All right, so after you're done, you're gonna hit file, you're gonna hit save, and then you're gonna close it. So guys, this should help you reduce waiting time and also help you reduce latency and lags. So after you're done, you're gonna head over to your GeForce Now um, software, and then you wanna try any game to see if it's okay. Now for the uh, so for, for the G, for the GFN accelerator, you can experiment on that as well. So you can experiment between the DX11, the DX10, and the DX9 to, until you see better results or until you see which one works best for you. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel. And I hope this was really helpful to you. See you guys in the next video, and peace out.